out. Gunnar Bentz and Milak are very strong. Well, James Guy has kept quiet, obviously. Not in a good place to race. But with all the changes, they still think that Christoph Milak in lane eight will be the race winner. Team Iron looking to pick up good points here to challenge LA Current for second place. The 200 butterfly long and strong and see if he can hold that length of stroke and rhythm certainly in the first part of the race not too excitable work your tongues make sure you hit the wall hard and with your hands in the right place Milak, Shields and Conga that's after the first 50 Milak doing the job on the side there as he comes off the tongue Christoph Milak, world record holder long course. The world record short course is 148.24 held by Daya Seto of Japan. And it's a 150.6 from Chad Leclo that's the fastest in the ISL. Milak still out there just, just ahead of Tom Shields. Shields won the 100. He is a team swimmer. There's a beautiful underwater section. Milak then, 50 to go. Still on track for a victory. Shields and Conga hunting him down. That's the way it's been. Tom Shields looks as though he's got the fire in his belly. He's got the faster tempo. He has a wonderful, there's Milak looking across the pool to see where Shields is. And as he does that, he loses concentration. Now it comes back, he knows he's got to find it from within. Christoph Malak absolutely stole it back from Tom Shields. That was Shields to win and he lost it. He lost it in that last section. Milak took a look and found something within himself just to get the momentum into the pad on the 200 butterfly. A great swim from a great Hungarian. He kept it long. This is his event. He's on song. The short course, of course, and interrupts there's the look across the pool and then quickening up the stroke putting in the extra power finding the strength from someplace not really on a good finish and he went underwater to hit the pad low down he knew that he could not take another stroke 149.98 a great swim from Milak